Hello and welcome to Tyrannus Gaming. Today, we're going to take a look at Frost, and not because it's December, it's just pure coincidence. Frosty the Snowman. This is the enemies we'll be utilizing. 20 times corrupted bombards. It will be Steel Path. The AI will be paused so I can explain his abilities and what's going on. The enemy level will be 130. These are the corrupted bombards. Let's go ahead and discuss Frost's passive ability. Any enemy that melees you will have a 10% chance to be frozen for 20 seconds. While this may not seem very useful, I would remind you that some enemies, such as the Juggernaut, may decide they want to sit still for 20 seconds, which is very important, as you can simply headshot him. I'm kidding, you can't headshot a Juggernaut. However, this guy, you actually can. So let's go ahead and utilize Frost number 1 ability, Freeze, which will literally freeze him in place for 15 seconds and provide cold procs to all nearby enemies. When you utilize this ability, it will slow them all down, which may not seem very useful until you find out that disruption missions exist. Let's go ahead and utilize Frost number 2 ability, which as you'll notice in a 45 degree cone will provide a whole bunch of cold procs. Again, very useful if you're in a disruption mission or any mission that you need to keep the enemy away from your defense target. And for that, we're going to utilize his number three ability, and under normal circumstances, I would drop the snow globe right now and demonstrate that it does nothing but protect you from damage, but I'm going to show you something rather fascinating. If you walk into the middle of the enemies like this, and you drop snow globe, it acts as a second layer of crowd controls that will simply force the enemies away from you, and if you do this by a cliff, you can get some free kills. However, if you find that the enemies are overwhelming you and you need to run, you can simply use his number one ability to detonate the shield, provide nearby cold procs, and simultaneously thrust many of the enemies away from you. Now, let's discuss his number four ability, also known as Avalanche. You'll notice that like our number one ability, we'll freeze them in place, allowing you to headshot them, if you so desire to. But, if you happen to notice, one particular target here, as many others, has reduced armor. As you'll notice by the little yellow shield next to his yellow health bar. This is very important because Avalanche will actually reduce their armor by 60 some odd percent permanently. Now, I say this is important because if you double cast it, this is what it looks like. We have not only permanently armor stripped him, but you'll also notice this is not temporary like it is with many other effects, but quite permanent. However, you may be asking, hey Tyrannus, if Frost isn't a damage dealing Warframe, why can he armor strip? And that my friends is what I'm about to demonstrate to you, as Snow Globe is not purely a defensive ability as well. As you can see, they're all now dead, and a couple of them decided to do a few ballerina dances. So let's go ahead and utilize 20 times corrupted bombards. They will be steel path. I'm going to unpause them, and they're still level 130. Hopefully I don't screw this up. Now you may be thinking, hey Tyrannus, I thought Frost was meant to be played defensively. And I did say defensively, and how I just played was in fact defensively. 
If you're referring to a support role, I would advise doing exactly what I just did, but camp on top of the target. This means that if you have a defense target or any ally that needs defense, simply do exactly what I did, but throw your snow globe over your ally and help him out. If you happen to have any tips, tricks, or mod loadouts that would make my life easier, or you simply believe that I played Frost incorrectly, go ahead and leave a comment below and educate me. I hope you all have a wonderful day.